this morning I have uh, connected the battery to the inverter because the battery was full and I now using the inverter for to charge batteries but that small batteries I've even charged this morning the batteries of this cabin camera I use this equipment for to charge batteries and now I have attached the multimeter to the equipment if you look you can see that the cables of the solar panel are connected directly to the battery and the cables of the inverter are also connected to the battery and the cables from the multimeter are also connected to the battery this red plug is from the multimeter this big cable is from the solar panel and this small cable is from the inverter and this is plus power on the main power we have also a few cables and here we have the multimeter cable here's the inverter cable and here's the connection of the solar panel this is of course uh, an experimental setup but I use it every time for my own purpose This is the solar panel and the inverter and the multimeter on the battery. The voltage is 14 volts. I have switched the multimeter on 20 volts DC. And this is only under charging and uncharging conditions and this is the battery it's a high solar battery this battery is almost 10 years old but it has a behavior of a new battery so that means that the solar panel is the best charger for a battery here you have a 6 volt battery I use this kind of batteries for electric uh, DC lines. Here you see an, another 12 volt user of the solar panel. It's a small 12 volt battery. I use this small battery for to power up electric lamps, but not. DC lamps but AC lamps in combination of a 230 volt inverter which converts the DC power from this battery into 230 volts AC it's only a small stand alone equipment I use this equipment only for the charge up low energy consumers But sometimes, if there is a, black, a total blackout, then I use this equipment for emergency. I made an agreement with myself. With my small equipment, I can generate, under the right circumstances, 100 watts, because if the solar panel gives only 100 watts per hour and under the right circumstances then the power consume will stand also not higher than 100 watts so remember if you put 100 watts in the system then you can also take 100 watts from the system but not more So there is a law between charging and discharging.
and it has to do with time. Before you calculate your solar equipment, you have to know how much energy you want to use with solar power. You need to know exactly how much energy you want to use. 